Karnataka to implement NEP using LMS and UUCMS at state-run institutions from this year. Colleges in Karnataka will reopen after vaccination, says Deputy Chief Minister. NEET UG 2021 to be held on September 12th. Application process starts today. Classes in engineering and tech institutes to begin on 25th October. IISC invites applications for KVPY scholarship 2021. Lucknow University's UG courses now include COVID-19 concepts. Microsoft Imagine Cup won by Mumbai teams for developing a non-invasive screening for skin cancer using artificial intelligence. High Court asks Delhi government to file submissions on pleas against order, allowing private schools to charge annual fees. Good afternoon and a warm welcome. You're watching Education News Network, where we get you the latest developments in education at the top of this hour. This is Nitya reporting from ENN and the daily stories are The National Education Policy 2020 will be implemented in state-run higher education institutions in Karnataka beginning this academic year to enable the same to be extended across the state by 2030, said the Deputy Chief Minister Dr. C. N. Ashwat Narayan on Monday. NEP will be implemented by making use of the Learning Management System, that is LMS, and Unified University College Management System, that is UUCMS, he said. Further, Ashwat Narayan, who also handles the higher education portfolio, urged private colleges with good infrastructure to begin implementing NEP in an initial phase. Other institutions should also get ready to implement this in a gradual manner, he suggested. The Deputy Chief Minister added that NEP aims to integrate various capabilities of the human intellect. It aspires to provide global exposure to the students, even as it wishes to make them aware of the roots of the Indian tradition, he said. Colleges will reopen after vaccination of students, teachers and staff is completed, said the Deputy Chief Minister and Higher Education Minister C. N. Ashwat Narayan on July 12th. The Karnataka government has not taken a decision on reopening of colleges. However, the department is making preparations for reopening, keeping in mind the fact that they may open once vaccination is complete, he said. The process of reopening colleges and universities is fraught with challenges. However, how long can we go on like this? Life should be back on track as soon as possible. We have to take enough safety measures and aim at reopening colleges. In this regard, universal vaccination of all college students is the only way ahead, he said. He denied allegations that the government has neglected its duty of vaccinating citizens. The newly appointed Education Minister Dharmendra Pradhan on Monday announced the exam date of NEET UG 2021. The entrance test for admission in MBBS and BDS courses will be held on September 12, 2021. The application process for NEET UG will begin from 5 pm today, that is July 13th. In order to ensure social distancing norms, the number of cities where the examination will be conducted has been increased from 155 to 198. The number of examination centres will also be increased from the 3,862 centres used in 2020. To ensure adherence to COVID-19 protocols, face masks will be provided to all candidates at the centre. Staggered time slots during entry and exit, contactless registration, proper sanitisation, seating with social distancing, etc. will also be ensured, the minister said. Engineering and technical institutions have to begin classes for freshers from October 25th and for existing students from October 1st. According to the All India Council for Technical Education, that is AICTE, revised academic calendar approved by the Supreme Court on Monday. The calendar was prepared keeping in mind the COVID-19 pandemic and the delay in declaring the class 12 results of the CBSE and other state courts. The results are expected to be announced by July 31st. The AICTE calendar was approved by a bench of justices L. Nageshwar Rao and Anirudh Bose who said that an exception is being made to the schedule only on account of the pandemic. While dates of the entrance examination by various institutions are yet to be announced, AICTE has asked all technical institutions to complete the first round of counselling by September 30th and second round by October 10th. Those who wish to see cancellation of seats in the first semester will get a full fee refund if they apply before October 15th. Institutions will have time till October 20th to fill up these vacancies. The Indian Institute of Sciences, Bangalore, has invited application from school and college students for IISC Kishore Vaigyanik Protsan Yojana Scholarship Examination 2021. 
Interested and eligible candidates can apply online through the official website of KVPY at kvpy.iisc.ac.in. The KVPY Fellowship will be awarded to school and college students interested in pursuing basic science courses and careers in research. The application process began on July 12th and the last date to apply is August 25th. The KVPY aptitude test will be conducted on November 7th, 2021 at various centres across the country. With the COVID-19 pandemic being in our lives for over a year now, the four-year undergraduate courses in the Lucknow University, made in accordance with the new education policy 2020, now have concepts related to the pandemic. The university has included the concepts to make students aware of the pandemic, the present scenario and the challenges that lay ahead. The respective boards of studies and the faculty have passed the syllabus and it will be tabled at the Academic Council meeting on July 17th for final approval. According to Psychology Coordinator Archana Shukla, our four-year UG courses focus on providing student employability at every step. Hence, concepts which are the need of the art have been included. For the first time, we will be teaching school mental health that will include studying and researching about the mental health of both teachers and students. Topics to deal with mental health and stress have been included in the courses to help students tackle them and get better in blog. Two Mumbai-based teams, Asim Khan and Siddharth Jain, have won the Imagine Cup Junior AI Award, an initiative of Microsoft for developing a non-invasive screening for skin cancer by using artificial intelligence. Khan and Jin, who are both 17 years old, represented OMOTEC, that is On My Own Technology, a city-based educational and innovation center under the banner Team GForce to showcase their research in developing a non-invasive pressure mapping method to screen skin cancer and enable early detection. Team GForce won the award in the AI for Humanitarian Action category for detecting genital skin cancer. Imagine Cup Junior AI is a competition for students aged 13 to 18. It aims to engage them in understanding AI concepts and how it can be used to change the world around them. It's the first time that Microsoft has introduced the Imagine Cup for age category below 18 years. The Delhi High Court on Monday asked the Delhi government and other parties to file written submissions in pleas challenging a single judge order allowing private unaided schools to collect annual and development charges from students for the period after the lockdown ended in Delhi last year. A bench of Chief Justice D.N. Patel and Justice Jyoti Singh listed the matter for July 14th after all the advocates said it be given final hearing on Wednesday. The High Court had on June 7th issued notices and sought responses of the Action Committee Unaided Recognized Private Schools, which represents over 450 schools on the appeals of the AAP government, students and an NGO challenging the single judge's May 31st order. The division bench, however, had refused to stay the single judge's order. The Delhi government and the students and NGO Justice for All have contended that the single judge's decision was based on incorrect facts and law. The May 31st verdict had quashed two office orders of April and August last year issued by the Directorate of Education of the Delhi government for bidding and postponing collection of annual charges and development fees, saying they were illegal and ultra wires the powers of DOE stipulated under the Delhi School Education Act and the rules. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, do log on to our website, theenn.com, and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Signing off, Netflix.